So generally when you're writing emails, you're going to want some stuff happening at the bottom. Usually you're going to say something like sincerely and then your name and maybe a bunch of contact information. And it'd be really tedious to have to type this every time you create an email. So this is what a signature lets us do. We can set up that information ahead of time and when we create an email, it'll automatically place it at the bottom of the message. To create a signature for myself, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look through the Outlook options. I'm going to go to the File tab, find Options, and I'm going to look in Mail. And I can see in Mail right here I have Create or Modify Signatures for Messages and a Signatures button. I'm going to press Signatures and I can see the dialog box opens up here where I can go ahead and create my signature. So to do that, I'm going to go and start a new one with the New button and give it a name. So I'll say this is maybe my personal signature. So I'll put my name in there as well. Press enter and there we go. There's my personal signature. So I can click on that. And then down here at the bottom, I can actually type how I want my signature to look. So maybe I just want this at the bottom. I want cheers, a comma, type my name, maybe some company information, and maybe my email address down here at the bottom. You can type whatever you like in here and you got lots of room and it can be as long as you want. And I can even do a little bit of font formatting in here. So maybe I come in here and highlight my name. Maybe that's bold. And maybe my company and email information are a bit smaller font. And I can even come in here and change the colors. Maybe these are in blue. Let's do a darker blue. That's good. And you can see other things in here like I can even, uh, you know, justify my text. I can center. Uh, left align, right align, things like that. I can even come in and I can add pictures using the picture button. And I can even create hyperlinks as well with the hyperlink button. And as well, if I want to, I can add in business cards. For example, here I have my business card set up in my contact information. And I can say OK. And I can add that into my signature as well. I can remove that by clicking on it and using delete on the keyboard. So there's lots of ways we can set up our signature. Now, once we've got it created, what we have to do up here is choose three things. Which email account is this associated with? So there's my Microsoft Exchange account. And I have to choose if this is used with new messages and if it's used with replies and forwards. So with new messages, I definitely want to use my personal signature. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make sure I choose that from the list. Now for replies and forwards, since there's usually so much content in there, it may just be redundant to have a signature at the bottom. So I'm just going to say none for this one and my replies and forwards will not include the signature. And that's great. And I can go ahead and I can say OK. And in the Outlook options here, I'm simply going to say OK. So let's go create a new email and see what we got. So I'll press new email. There I can see automatically in the body of my message, there is my signature. And I can go ahead and I can type my message. And I don't have to worry about typing all this stuff at the bottom. And again, if I have things like a business card in there, that'll send as well and it'll make it easy for people to be able to add my information to their contact list, so on and so forth. Now as well, we do when we're creating a new email, we do have this signatures menu here, which lets me choose different signatures. For example, let's say I've gone and erased everything in here. I can simply go to Signature, choose the signature I set up, that will automatically place it in my email in case I erased it or it's not there. I can also go to my Signatures menu here and I can see Signatures down at the bottom. I'll click on that and that brings me back into my Signature and Stationery which we got through uh, to through the options before. And if I want to remove my signature, I can come in here to New Messages and I'll say None so I no longer use a signature. And I can even click on my signature here and delete it. You can create as many signatures as you want. And when you're done, you can say OK. And there you go. So there you have adding signatures in there. And like I said, you can create as many signatures as you want. Maybe you have a personal signature and a work signature. And you can leave it in your signature settings so that it doesn't automatically add itself to any email. But when you go create a new email, you can go to the signatures drop down box and just simply choose the signature you want to add in. And that way you don't have to go and erase your previous signature if you want to go and add a new one.